The law of action is not very well known anywhere. Um, it's not really widely taught and unfortunately it leaves people feeling a little bit confused when they learn about the law of attraction and why some things aren't working for them. So the law of action is um, divine inspiration. It is that gut feeling that tells you you should go and do something. So the law of action for some reason is um, not always put to its best use. Um, I think when people learn about the law of attraction, they believe that uh, something will come to them. And they expect this to be something materialistic, or they expect a person to come to them and guide them somewhere. But it doesn't work like this. What's actually happening with the law of action is that you do have something coming to you, but it is that feeling in your stomach, that inspiration, that joyful, oh, I really feel like I have to go do this. That's the feeling. And with the law of action, it depends on what you're trying to manifest, but using the law of action, it does make things manifest quicker. So when you're trying to bring something in, if it's, if it's on the grand, or if you believe that it's on the grand scheme of things, if it's larger than, the, you know, a small sort of, you know, a free cup of coffee here or a pair of shoes here, if it's something that you're really striving for, like you're trying to move somewhere or you're trying to go somewhere different, be somewhere different, or be a different person, then the law of action is what you want to be using. And the law of action is basically, is made up of dots. It's kind of like a dot to dot for children. You have to follow each dot to get to the end result. You can't see the bigger picture until you follow each dot. So when you have that inspirational moment, when you feel like you really want to go and do something, or call someone, or be with someone, or do something, it's probably because the universe is starting to fill out this bigger picture, and it's starting to um, send you on your journey to where you want to be. Now these things can seem very small and very insignificant. They may seem like I don't understand why the universe would ask me to do something like that. But you can't see the bigger picture always. You have to trust that it's leading somewhere. So if you're asking for something very specific, the quickest way for the universe to bring it to you may be through a different person who knows someone else, who knows something about someone else, and it's constantly guiding you. And the thing is with the law of action is that if you're using it correctly, it won't feel like a struggle and it won't feel like you want to give up and don't do it anymore. Because if you're doing that, then that's not the law of action. That's just pushing against the current. You really want to um, follow your heart with everything. It's, it's supposed to feel fun and joyful. It's supposed to be easy because it is, it is easy. The, if you're following the divine guidance of the universe all the time, it's always very easy. It's always very quick. Each dot, as you follow them for longer, will seem like they're shorter distances between each of them each time. You'll get something every day or every hour if you really focus on trying to do that for yourself. So if you get that feeling that you have to go and do something, no matter how small it is and no matter how insignificant you may think it is, there's always a bigger picture and there's always a bigger plan. So you should always, always follow the law of action and go forth and do exactly what your gut is telling you because it is on, it's leading you on your way to what you have asked for. So be very specific and what you're asking for because uh, the universe is definitely taking you that way.